Hello YouTube, today I'll be making a series of videos that I'm so behind on posting. These are all dream videos that the Lord gave me between the year of, I want to say 2006 up into 2009. And these was all reoccurring dreams. They just kept happening over and over and over again. So the first dream I'm going to talk about was the concentration camp. I had a dream that I was in a concentration camp. Uh, the dream started with me already in the concentration camp. Uh, I remember clearly it was dark. And the concentration camp looked like a log cabin. I remember it was like a wood little structure, just a one story, very short, um, one story little a log cabin looking thing and it had a door cut out on the side of it. I remember that it was nighttime in this dream and I seen a lot of my family was in that concentration camp. It was me, my sister, I remember seeing my cousin, some of his kids, I think my niece and nephews, it was just a lot of my family was in the same concentration camp. And Outside, we could go outside into a courtyard. You know, like how jail have a courtyard. This place had like a little, it was just a fenced in area. The fence was high up. And you know how it bends at the top with the barbed wire? It was bent at the top with the barbed wire. And then, you know, just off to the, off to the side of it had the little um, security tower where they could watch us. Well, in this dream, it was, like I said, it was dark. And I guess we had must have went a long time without eating. Because we was literally ravaging hungry like uh, vampires. I mean, you know, I, I mean, like uh, zombies. You know how they just grab it and grab it, everybody grab it. Well, that's how we was. All of a sudden, in the dream, they begin to rain down us some type of food from the sky. I couldn't tell what it was, but the people was just clawing over each other and everybody was just clamoring and clamoring and trying to get the food that was falling from the sky. And finally, I got my food and my sister got her food. And what the food was, was a pudding and like a little pudding cup. Like, you know, we go and get a little dessert cup, those little vanilla puddings at the store, chocolate puddings, like, like a cup like that. But yet not like that. It was like a yogurt type texture type thing it was odd but it was in a like a little narrow little little cup like that and so um my sister began to eat her she was just eating and just ravaging and ravaging and all around me everybody was just eating ravaging and ravaging and i began to take uh my spoon and i began to eat mine and the lord said do not eat that and the lord said it's poison they was poisoning the people. They was pretending to be feeding us, but they was actually poisoning us. And the dream ended when my sister said, I'll take yours. And she took my pudding and she ate it. And fast forward that to today. And this may not even have nothing to do with the, the dream. I didn't get the pudding shot. But my sister got the pudding shot and extra pudding shots. And I don't know if that was that, that she got extra, mine's and hers. And I, the Lord told me not to eat it because it was poison. I don't know. But we was definitely in concentration camps and they was killing people by pretending to feed them. It was poison. And people, they was eating it. They was eating it so quickly. I mean, you just could not imagine the speed. Just almost like, you know how you eat something so fast, you don't really have the time to swallow it. They was, we was like animals, like, like, like animals. And just eating, 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 eating like that. And the dream ended when the Lord told me, don't eat it because it's poison. And it ended with my sister eating mine. She said, I'll, I'll, I'll eat yours. And so that's how that dream ended.